Play. Would you just 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 hit play? I did. All right, good. I don't think I should I'm... probably turn the the TV off though because but, it's but there's a football game it's on. I'm not allowed to do football, shit. Football, 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 football. It's so boring football, around football, here. Football, football. Stays on. It's your show. That's what I thought. That's right. Turn it off, goddammit, <laughs> mother. Shit, fuck. If something saying, crazy goes on, it's on you. You can see it on the lower screen. Yeah, but it, it's a different screen. People are gonna be like, you have two screens. <laughs> <laughs> we don't, it's just the computer screen. Uh, yeah, right. actually, this is a very cheap way to watch football. I'm a. Don't tell them, the NFL steal. people are gonna yeah, know. Yeah, kind of illegally streaming the games. It's too expensive. So far. It's just as good as watching them on TV, if not better. Are you serious? You bitch and swear every single time it buffers. I know, I know, but I bitch and swear every single time a commercial that makes me mad comes on, so... <laughs> that is true. I don't have to watch commercials. Really? I thought there was commercials sometimes. Uh, sometimes, but uh, usually I get Canadian feeds. Oh, that's So they're cool. Canadian commercials, so they don't bother me as much, because it's like, well, they're not for me. Like, <laughs> there's the... I can't have any of your products, so whatever. Yeah, is try to add... Is there that overlaps? Um, like McDonald's, maybe. Maybe there'll be oh. a McDonald's commercial, but hmm. for the most part, no. And even the McDonald's ones, it's in Canadian dollars, so, like, I don't know what the fuck that means. What is the Canadian currency called? Contain- Canadian dollar. It's just the Canadian dollar, <laughs> yeah, that's Canadian it? Canadian money. It would be cool if they called their, like, their dollar bills, like, I, m- like maple Don't leaves. they have, like, queens on there? No. Because... It- I, mean, I don't know. At one time I got a Canadian quarter. I thought it was a, a British pound because it had Queen Elizabeth on it. It did? Yeah. I'm trying to look at camera more. Did you see me? I saw you. I was you. looking at camera more. You know more. what the funny thing is? I was like, what are you looking at? And I was like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> There's people joining us in this conversation. Yeah, some. <clears throat> By the way, this is uh, Monday night. So there was a football game on. So I have been drinking yeah, and I was at work, and I yeah. am, like, super tired, and it was a really shitty day where I was stuck in a lot of traffic. What's that have to do with anything? Um, you were telling about your day, and I was telling about my day. Well, I was just saying if I come off a little bit... Oh, okay. I'm like a little tired. I've, I've been really drinking t- all day. It's because I've been drinking all day. I'm drinking coffee to wake myself <laughs> up, so... It's I always like, like drinking coffee at night. It makes me feel like a detective. I added more caramel, so it's like a dessert coffee. <laughs> How do you make your coffee? I, uh, how, do you, how do you like your coffee? I squirt some caramel, and then... <laughs> squirt some caramel. <laughs> I squirt some caramel, and then I do a mm. dash of vanilla almond milk, sweetened vanilla almond milk, and uh, mix that together in my mug of choice. Right now it is my rainbows that Nick's mom made for me. Yeah. Yeah. And, um... Nobody cares. It. You want to talk about It? The movie It? Remember <laughs> we went to go see It? Did we? We saw it. Yeah. Um, I think we had an It weekend. We did. We saw uh, both It's. We saw Friday was part one of 1990 It, mm-hmm. and part two was on sun- Saturday. What day is it? And then... T- it's yesterday. Monday. And yesterday we saw It, yes. the movie, 2017. Part mm-hmm. one. What did we see? It, the movie, chapter huh? one. It? It. What do you mean? What movie did we see? We saw it. What? What movie did we see? (laughs) Who's on first? It. (laughs) What? (laughs) It's on first? It's on first. Oh, I thought who was on first. It. Oh. This is hilarious. (laughs) 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 Anywho, what did you think of both It's? Okay, so I was thinking about this, and I was thinking about it. How would you write out it's? Like, it, it, the two it movies, plural. ITS. Just ITS. ITS? Yeah. Because it wouldn't be possessive. But that ITS is possessive. IT apostrophe S is it is. Oh, no. (laughs) (laughs) This is, uh... So, so what, is it like... It Dude, then... I am not at mental capacity to figure out the <laughs> grammatics of this shit. You want me to text my sister? Yes. Oh, this is this will be fun. My sister is a uh, 
just writing grammar genius man we are just getting all the <laughs> the guests we, we, we got my brother and now oh, now should we I call get, her you don't have to call it's her 10 no. yeah it's, her. Uh, it's 11 o'clock there. yeah yeah she's on the east coast but get a text in from your sister or call in from my brother nobody you know what those two people have never been on the same show ever <laughs> <laughs> they, they haven't even been in the same room like more than like five times yeah and my brother just talked about nazis or something the first time your brother met my sister, he ranted yeah. about Nazis and how Lord of the Rings sucked. Yeah. And yeah. first off, his brother's not a Nazi. He just really likes World War II stuff. Mm. And second, my sister is a Allegedly huge Lord of, the, Nazi. Lord of the Rings fan. No, he argued how Star Wars was better than Lord of the Rings. That's what he did. No, he still said Lord of the Rings sucked. <laughs> and even uh, a few days ago, he was ranting on Twitter about how, or not Twitter, Facebook, about how Lord of the Rings was overrated. I'm really, I'm really uh, interested in what she has to say. Because <clears throat> it doesn't make sense. Why would it be apostrophe S? All right, what did you say? She hasn't responded yet, so I texted well, her again that I need a quick answer. Dude, we've what been did having... You, what, was we've, your, what was your first text? What did you say? I said, hey, need a quick answer to this one. <laughs> okay. If someone was to refer to both it movies together, how would it, they spell it? It's? It's? Like, and I just spelled it two oh, okay. ways, but you can't hear it in oral speech. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, me and her, she's terrible at responding. We've had the same conversation mm. over three, like it spanned three days because that's how long it takes her to respond to me. So I get like a response a yeah. day from this conversation. Mm. Fascinating. Um, how, how did you feel about it? <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> I'm such a dick. <laughs> Why am I so mean today? I don't know. <laughs> Apparently, according to last show, it's because you're a Slytherin. Mm, I guess so. You, you, that, whatever you got. <laughs> I hate those guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I uh, hate f- fluffle fluff. You know what? Sometimes you bitch at me for not getting to the subject. You're the one who goes off topic. I, uh, fuck you and your dragon d- d- doos house. <laughs> My dragon to juju says? Yeah, you know, uh, those Harry Potter things. Anyway, go on. Go on with, uh, what did you think about it? Okay, um, <laughs> I... We're not very good at reviewing <laughs> movies. I think our movie reviews are the roughest to watch. <laughs> yeah. Because we either, like, can't talk about it, or it's really, we actually talk about it and it's really dry. Yeah. Um, no, okay, so, I, I liked each it for separate things, and I mm-hmm. disliked each each it for different reasons too. So, so the the new it <clears throat> um they they end up fighting off the it the creature and it and it goes into the sewer and uh, that's the end of that movie. And then they kind of leave it open ended to a sequel. And then the 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 second one what happens is they come back as an adults and they kill this weird spider thing at the end. There just spoiled both movies for everybody. But they you don't but they're different. Like the first, the 1991, yeah. um, was really cool because it showed them as adults and then slowly flashback revealed, which I really liked. I mm. love that form of storytelling. The acting in the first one is meh. Um, they're, um, the main guy, when he turns, gets older, he, he did not age well. The, the mole, guy. mole face mole guy? Mole face with the nasty with the ponytail. ponytail. Yeah, that was terrible. Yeah. But the acting was a little meh, but I really enjoyed the first one. The first one was really fun, and I really liked it was um, Tim good. Curry as it. I yeah, I thought Tim Gurry really was good. I liked his makeup better because in the new one, he, it, his makeup kind of makes him like already kind of creepy. You know what I mean? Like Tim Curry just kind of looked like a normal clown. Oh, so you want you want you prefer them just looking like a normal clown? Because to me, that's scary. that's a, a normal clown is scarier than a clown that's made to look scary, in my opinion. Maybe I'm just crazy on this. I, but does that make sense? I see what you're saying, and I do appreciate that of the the second the the first it. But yeah. I gotta say, this new it, I I, I love the makeup. I mm. loved how they portrayed it. It looked really good. <clears throat> but this, it seemed like the scariest parts of the new it were kind of CGI enhanced, whereas the scariest yeah. parts of the old hit, it <clears throat> were just from Tim Curry's kind of 
acting. True. You know I, what I mean? I think that it's just it's a different time. If they had done that nowadays, that the movie would have fell, fell flat. Yeah. We need the CGI. In That's today's true. Day. That's true. And for its time, it was brilliant. And the old it didn't really have uh, too many jump scares, which I like. I kind of like not. Yeah. No, I'm I'm not a big fan of. I haven't seen uh, Conjuring Two. Me and you watched. Oh yeah, we, and we I, haven't seen the first one though. Yeah, we never seen the first one, but we watched Conjuring Two. I thought I really liked that movie. And uh, what else? Late recent horror movie, which I actually really liked. Oh, was uh, the one where they're in the forest, right? The unbaptized family. Yeah, and they they yeah. had that. They, that was, was slow but good. Yeah, that one kind of reminded me of The Shining, but like I don't, I hate uh, Paranormal Activity. Yeah. Like I was, I saw it with my mom, and my mom was laughing. <laughs> <laughs> like I thought it was the only one that didn't like that movie, but my mom was sitting with me, just like, you know, this is kind of funny. Because <laughs> like it's it's an hour in, and all you see is a door move, and it's terrible. That sounds awful. It. I've yeah. never seen it. I just really just sound stupid. I liked Blair Witch. At the I first, haven't seen Blair Witch. Yeah, that one was pretty good, but it once again it didn't really rely on the. Boo. <laughs> like, I, I can't anybody, stand the jump scares because after a while you get numb to them. Honestly, I am. I don't really jump too easily. I do. I do. Yeah, I know. I've I've scared you many of times. Oh my gosh! On purpose and like by accident. The one <laughs> Just like though. like hey down. <laughs> it's like what did I? I was I've been sitting here for three hours. How did you? How did I scare you? If you didn't notice, I'm kind of spacey, but. Yeah. No, the worst scare that you ever did was at your old dorm room. He waited outside the fucking bathroom door. So I was in the bathroom, and he just stood directly outside in the dark, like, mm. nose to the door. So we when were I playing Slender it, Man the whole night. Oh, yeah. We were, that's why it was so scary. We were playing Slender Man all night with his friends. So when I opened the door, I think I screamed. Oh, that was a loud you cried. One. I didn't cry. You cried. I didn't cry. <laughs> Don't tell our viewers. Yeah, you cried. <laughs> you you act like a guy with crying though. It's kind of funny. No, I don't. Oh, you totally do. What do you mean? You, like um, uh, so a lot of guys they won't admit it to cry. Like, I'll give you another example. We were at a White Sox game. <laughs> and um, I don't as a talk kid. About the White Sox. Okay, as a kid, I love. The White Sox Park, because the back of the park, the way you got down, is it was this, like, windy ramp. And, like, it, me and my friends would always race down that. And it was always really fun. It's a cement switchback, just all yeah. the way down. Mm -hmm. And it's so much fun to run around, because it's the perfect incline where it's it's not too speed, steep, and you can get some really good speed. So I decided uh, that me and Dom and her sister would race. It would be really fun. And uh, so I was like, ready, set, go. And we all took off. Wait, let me preface this right now. I don't run. Running doesn't happen for me. I'm not a good runner. At one point, you forgot how to run. When I was a child, I, I forgot. How, could we really telling him this? I forgot how to run. Uh, and my sister had to teach me, and she taught me wrong. So ever since then... <laughs> she teach you wrong? She taught me wrong. And I didn't a, want to race, okay? It's a human instinct. That's, <laughs> like, running is how we, like, evolve. How do you forget how to do that? I was, like, That's like six. I, oh, I forgot how to breathe. I was, most seven. Uh, maybe eight. I was eight. It still makes no sense. That's when you should be in I your know. running prime. It, it also, it took me, I was, I was much older when I learned how to ride a bike, too. I was just a slow bloomer in coordination, okay? And I didn't want to run down the stupid ramp i just wanted to walk and it was cold out it was like 32 so my feet it were a little a, frozen it was a very cold baseball game yeah it, i was cold yeah. continue your story now that i have <clears> some details so so i said ready set go and we all took off and so, i was clearly in the lead because i was an adult at this point <laughs> <laughs> i was racing teenagers so and like you know 21 you're probably in the best shape of your life i was probably 21 no. right I was in the best shape of my life, maybe at well, 17. Well, I got about two floors down, and I look back, and I see your sister, who's, you know, kind of close behind. She She's a good athlete. Yeah, she and plays then soccer. I, I saw her friend, and then I'm like, hmm, I wonder what happened to Dom. It turns out you took about three steps and face planted, <laughs> which I wish I didn't take off so fast so I could have watched that. I think it was like two and a half steps. I just went bam, bam, bam. And I hit so hard, 
on the ground. I oh, bruised God. both my hip bones. That that and scraped up my hands really bad. And then I went up to you and you were crying and like we got to the car and you're like I was crying because I was embarrassed, not because it hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Which is the funniest thing. Because it's like, I would have accepted you were crying because it hurt. You scraped up your hands real bad. <laughs> I, they were bleeding. And, yeah, my, and one of my like, hips were bleeding. And it's, when it's cold and you like, get hurt, it makes it ten times worse. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. it stings more. So I was, in, I was I remember in stinging. I when just, I played baseball and it was cold and like you would so hit bad. the ball, oh my god, your hands! It would just be like I don't want to play this anymore. Yeah, I remember I had a I played softball. I would intentionally strike out so I didn't hit the ball. <laughs> I was terrible. They hated me in softball. I I was good, and then for some reason I got afraid of the ball. Did you get hit? No, not really. I even played catcher, which was <laughs> weird. Like I have no like. I'm really good at catching, but, like, hitting I could never do, like, under pressure. I don't know why. Pressure. Yeah. Pressing down. No, you know, they say that hitting uh, a baseball is the hardest thing to do in all of sports. Fun fact. I really doubt it, but okay. What do you think would be harder than that? I don't know. It just seems like something. Like, hand-eye coordination. Like, it's... Okay, I guess. It's very hard I to... mean, like, those balls are, like, some of them are going in, like, 100 miles an hour sometimes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just played in the gravel in the outfield. They put me in outfield because they thought, like, no kid could hit that far, so just put her out there. And then I just, like, would write my name. And, like, I actually uh, buried my the first baseman coach's shoe in gravel one time. Yeah? Uh, that was back in How'd that go over? Uh, he wasn't happy with it. You know, me. I saw uh, a professional do that once. Oh, yeah? No. <laughs> I don't think that's ever happened. Um, um. But, yeah, so let's see what else did I like about it. <laughs> Wow. Okay. <laughs> you, know what, um, you know what bothered me about this it, though? Hmm. Oh, we've already spoiled a lot. I am upset that... The latest one? Yeah, the latest one. I'm kind of upset. She she ended up with the stutterer. Not, I don't, I forgot their names, so I'm going off their nicknames. The, the, the stutterer and mm. not the fat kid in the in the end. And I was really sad about that because I really like well, in the first the, it. And the first one, it, it, part two, is when she got with the fat kid. True, but they never actually... She never got with the stammer, like the stammer kid. She was kind of like playing the field on the second one. Yeah, she was. Nah. She was. She said she was dating all of them at one point, and just, just I don't know. She was a little weird. Well, in the first one, in the nineteen ninety one, she's. I, I think she's. I don't know. I didn't see the playing the field thing. Because she said she was dating the Seth Green guy too. I think she said it as a joke. And she like kissed him. But she was joking. Like, on the lips. Yeah. They, they I don't know. She was a little one, friendly too. with all of them. What's wrong? Like, I could see she, I could see she falling in love with any of them. Okay, that's what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. okay. Like, um, given given enough, like, time. You know what I mean? Like, if she just sat down with the weird, awkward kid with the mom that, like, was overprotective. No, the mom actually had Munchausen by proxy syndrome, so uh, that's not yeah. very good. Is that what, like, Roger Waters' mom had? Mother, do you think? <laughs> Gosh, that was <laughs> such a stretch for me. I'm so sorry. That was I'm sorry. No, it's okay. No, the, the you know what Munchausen by proxy is? Um, it's when you make your kid sick on purpose to look like a good mother. Hmm. She was pretending he had asthma so that she could take care of him. He could stay her little baby forever. It was yeah. creepy. Sorry, do I? Like I, I was I was thinking about um, the second one. I was like, I kind of want to know. Like, how I would have felt if I didn't watch the first one to begin with. Oh, yeah. Because, okay, the bad kid the in the in the newest one, like, didn't do anything. He cut the kid's stomach into an H to write his name. Yeah, but he he really wasn't that bad compared to the last one. I, 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 no. The, the, the kid in the first one. Anybody. The, the bully kid in the first one was way more of an asshole than the bully kid in the second one. The bully kid in the new one drove a knife into his dad's neck. Yeah. Part of me feels like that happened. He almost in... shot a cat. By the way, I didn't I didn't watch I I didn't read the book, so this is all going. Oh yeah, there. we're just going with the movie right yeah. now. But um Part of me feels like that's stuff that was in the book that they couldn't put in the movie because it was on TV. Yeah. Which is crazy. The, 
Oh, I noticed this. This is a definite change, sign of the times. So in the made-for-TV movie, they didn't have the kids swear, like, at all. From what yeah. I remember. Maybe one kid said bastard or ass. Yeah, so or I think like a small swear word. Minor stuff. But yeah. uh, That was edgy for the time. That was like, whoa. But the bully kid said the N-word like three times. Yeah. <laughs> and that totally went on without being censored. But in this one... No N-words, but the kids were dropping F-bombs every yeah. other word. <laughs> it's just a weird change in language. I, yeah, I think it's a good flip. I, yeah, I mean, I, 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 I'm, I'm not complaining. That, yeah. Like, I'm not like, oh, there should be more N-words in this movie. <laughs> it's more, it would be more realistic, yeah. I suppose, because that kid was racist as hell. Um, I, I did think, part of me was like, I don't know why they cut that, that he was, they totally cut that he was racist. Like, they didn't bring in, like, that the black kid was a black kid, really. You know what Wait, I mean? in the new one? In the new one. No, no, no. Every single time he, he, th- um, he threw something at him, he said, get out of my town, get out of my... St-. It's racist. It's saying, like, you're was a black he? person, you don't belong in my neighborhood. It was yeah. a little more not... It was over- not as blatant N-words, yeah. but no, that's so... He's, he was racist. You can okay. definitely tell. He definitely singled him out a lot. Okay, well, it wasn't that prominent, but um, I was just, like thinking why why not say the n-word at that point if he's going to be that racist yeah. you know he, he was a racist kid and like he was an asshole so I, I i feel like it would have been justified like if the character's an asshole and they use the n-word what's the big deal you're saying a bad person people that use that word like that are assholes yeah i don't know Maybe, you know, also maybe the, um, the actors i mean some actors yeah, that's true actors, yeah I mean, to say certain mm, things yeah. and he's a kid yeah who knows? I bet that, like, I always feel bad for, like, the really, really bad people in movies. Because I, I feel like if I saw them in real life, I'd just think they're mean. I wonder if, I bet, like, some of the people who play mean people are like, actually uh, really nice. King Joffrey. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what he's like in real life. I know that the witch from Wizard of Oz, like, it ruined her life because little kids oh, yeah. were just crying. Kids were afraid of her. Yeah. Like, that's what I was thinking about when I was Actually, uh, that. Nurse Ratchet, the lady that played oh, yeah, yeah, Nurse her Ratchet, too. she, like, stripped down into her underwear because everybody was really cold towards her, so yeah. she's, like, showing that she's loose. Yeah, she was, like, dancing on the set in her underwear. Yeah. <laughs> I would, I can't picture that. Like, she just is so cold. Like, mm-hmm. she's so convincing that if I saw her in real life, I'd just be so freaked out. Yeah. She really made that movie. I mean, like, I know Jack Nicholson was amazing, but Nurse I Ratchet, think she, she, yeah, I think she out... Acted Nicholson because Nicholson's always just Nicholson. Yeah, you know, he's just, he's yeah. a I guess a character actor they call that. Yeah, like Christopher Walken just is Christopher Walken <laughs> in every movie. <laughs> he like, doesn't actually get another name. It's just yeah. it's Christopher Walken. It, it's it's not like it's yeah. Daniel Day Lewis where they actually become the character. Yeah, acting, you know, right. so I, Jack Nicholson was Jack Nicholson in that movie. So yeah. was he great? Yeah, he was Jack Nicholson. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but um. It. The movie It. <laughs> no, fuck. Okay, so we talked about... Oh, I love that the new one dropped the spider. <laughs> the spider. Uh, I think the spider might come back. No, I don't Because when... So. At the end there, when the clown was going a little crazy, like, I saw a little spider leg. Well, yeah, but, I mean, it could have just been one of the kids was scared of spiders. Like, it turned into a lot of things. True. Also, um... But, the, like, there wasn't a spider in the part one of the, the TV true, movie. True, true. But this one you saw more of the, I, the clown. I think it was a miniseries. The glow, the dead eyes, makes so much more sense than the new one. Yeah. I was like, can somebody please explain like, mm-hmm. what the fuck's going on in the first one with this big glowy thing? Yeah. True that. True, true. Yeah. I like the I like the end fight scene. I thought it was really cool. I didn't, like... The damsel in distress part, but I feel like she was such a bad. She, like she was just she was, a badass. She was still a cool movie. character. I did yeah. think it was uh, the part where her sink explodes in the first one was <laughs> just like a balloon popped. I like that. It looked that. like a nice little splatter, but in this one, it was like the fucking shining door, <laughs> elevator <laughs> no, doors. It reminded me of Nightmare on Elm Street, just splurting. Yeah, up, just and everywhere. I was just thinking like, and when they go into the the bathroom, and they're like. We should clean this up. It's like, that would take days. Yeah. I mean, like, they got it so clean. I was like, this looks like one of those fucking yeah. fake um, cleaning commercials. You, you no, know, like. That doesn't take that long, that quick. I've heard, like, crime scenes 
the, it, blood is really hard to get out. Yeah. <laughs> and it was sitting for like a day. Mm-hmm. No, it would not be that easy. I actually, I that scene. We should actually, we should have like broke this down and gone scene by scene. Yeah. But that scene, I actually like the old version better. I think the balloon coming out of the fo- yeah, there was no balloon. Like her, her hair kind of. It was just a kind of a little bit too CGI. It was too silly. A little bit, yeah. They should have kept that part simple. I love the popping balloon. The the balloons filled with blood that would pop. I love that. I thought that was a signature it Pennywise thing, and I did not see that in the new movie as much, and that was upsetting to me. Yeah, there wasn't too many balloons. No, maybe like one or two. Yeah, and then they had the 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 triangle thing, which I was kind of like, one balloon would have sufficed. Like, calm the fuck down. I want to I want to go to the cat scene. The now, I know this is going to be a hot-button issue with you, but you turned to me during... So, in this scene, um, the bully kid uh, tells one of his bully friends to pick up a cat. He was shooting bottles or something with yeah. his dad's gun. His dad was the cop. So, he, he tells the bully kid to pick up the cat and put it where the bottle was because he was going to shoot it, and the dad stops him. But, like, midway through that scene, you turn to me, if he, if he does it, I'm done. Yeah. And I was just thinking, I was like, a child in the first scene of this movie gets his arm ripped off. And and you're done when the cat is about to get shot. <laughs> just just wanted to get your priorities straight. <laughs> a probably six-year-old child gets his arm bitten off by a crazy clown in the first scene of this film. And you're done when the cat was about to get killed. Well, yeah, I mean, one, having I was ready for the Georgie scene. I really hate that scene. And they actually showed too much. I thought that was kind of, I mean, he's six. Come on. I, there was a little. Hi, Georgie. Much of that. But no. Oh, I guess we're friends then. Actually, that's a good <laughs> it. You can, why can you be the creepy ones? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not going to okay. try again yeah, because that was a that was... lightning in the bottle <laughs> impression. But no. Um... I guess we know each other then. <laughs> I, I, if, if they kill the cat on top of that, and the lamb scene, don't forget the lamb scene. Oh, yeah, I, I had trouble that. with that one too. Like all of that together, I was like, I'm, oh, I can't do this. Like I hate seeing animals get hurt in movies. Like the lambs, I was having a lot of trouble with in that movie too. But what is it about animals? It's like they just don't know what's going on, and I, it's sad, and they're a little innocent. They have no capability, like of reasoning capabilities, to really understand. All they just feel is just fear and scared yeah. and pain. Like, there's no... They're the confusion. It's just... It, they're cute, and they're adorable, and they should be loved, and they're so blindly loyal. Yeah. I, I just... I don't know. That always fascinates me, where it's like... I remember uh, I Am Legend when that movie came oh, out. Oh, my I sister hated left. that movie, by the way. It wasn't a very good movie. I, it was not good. Way overrated. Mm-hmm. The Will Smith one. I, I've never seen the original. But, um... It was original. I didn't know that. Yeah, I think Charlton Heston was in it. Mm-hmm. Um, but, uh... When the dog gets killed, I've heard a lot of people cried, and I was just like, "This movie." It didn't get. The... It didn't wait, wait. It didn't get killed. It got strangled. Okay, yeah, it got strangled his by his loyal owner, who he defended all his life yeah, and got... loved. Actually, I think it was a girl dog, but it doesn't matter. He's gonna turn into a zombie dog. But but the thing was like, the dude he didn't have to do that. He, yeah, he did. It was gonna turn into a zombie dog. He didn't have to strangle it. He could have given a quick death. He did. I thought he stabbed his neck. He strangled it. Or he suffocated it or something. I don't remember because I didn't really like that movie. But anyway, um, the whole world is dead. <laughs> like he's the only person left in New York. New York has like five million people. One in five million people are alive, and people are upset that one dog dies. That dog was so loyal and loving, and they made you really like it because he was really Guess cute. So. Just and I the don't know. same thing with the just cat. A, just a funny. I just think it's interesting. And also, no, the, the, the I actually want to talk about the Georgie scene because I really mm. like how 1990 did it, where they just kind of like one of the kids just mentioned like, "Oh, Georgie got had his arm ripped off," but I, I, it was really hard to see that. But the weird thing is that it was really hard to see. Georgie getting his arm ripped off, and like there was the blood gushing, and, and he gets dragged in. That's really. But in the same respect, I love the end scene where the clown is pretending to be Georgie, and the kid totally like takes the the sheep thing, says you're not Georgie, and just mm-hmm. right into the kid's head, and the kid falls backwards, yeah, and then the kid turns cool. into the clown. That was really cool, but I guess maybe because I know the second Georgie isn't really Georgie, mm. but I. 
this, uh, the, it, the mm-hmm. beginning scene did get me. I was just prepared for it. All in all, I liked both movies, to be honest with you. This is the first I time. It was, I, yeah. I thought it was pretty. Both of them were pretty good. Yeah. For, the, for different reasons. Though. Huh? I wish they kept some of the flashback in the first Yeah. Movie. I kind of. Part of me was like, maybe they did that. It, the director did that because he's like, oh, I don't know. Maybe people start calling me Tarantino or something. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> a lot of people that do that, people. You know, True, say but they if ripped you know off the Tarantino. original It, you just know it's the It, not the Tarantino. Yeah, and the original It was pre-Tarantino, yeah. <laughs> so... I love how the original It laid itself out. That was yeah. my favorite layout, but I kind of... Um, I kind of like that they did it a little differently with Maybe, the second one. And honestly, it could have been they didn't know if this movie was going to be successful or not. So they why could hire have, the big name actors? And also, why why tease the sequel that much? But like make it that important? Yeah. Because in the in the mini series, it was like it starts with modern times, and then it flashes back to when there were kids of similar events that were happening. But if this movie didn't kind of flopped. Then it'd just be kind of unanswered what the modern times solution yeah, would be. Yeah, so they true. were just like, let's just do the kids' storyline so that we can kind of play a little bit safe. Yeah. yeah. That was smart, I guess. I, I like how this movie this movie did a really good job of doing stuff different while also playing it safe at certain parts, too. Mm. I thought it was really well done. The clown reveal with the balloon going up was really cool. Yeah. What was your makeup was cool. What was your favorite? So you know how each kid gets introduced to the clown separately, right? Yeah. Your favorite clown re- like clown reveal to one of the kids in the new movie and the old movie. I have um, some scenes scared me more than others. I'm trying to remember, I really like the sink scene in the first one. Yeah, that one's the really balloon. Good. I think that was my favorite in the first one. Second one, that one didn't do it for me. No, that was disappointing. Uh, I really liked the scene where the three of them were in the house and then they got separated. I thought that was really well done. That was a good scene. Um, but I don't know if that counts. It doesn't, but I, um, I was appreciating it. <laughs> <laughs> I was just, I was gonna just go talking with about them. scenes I liked. Yeah. <laughs> um, talking about the introduction scenes. I'm trying to remember them in the new one. There is the um, the uh, creepy lady for the Jewish guy, kid. Okay. There was that one. There was the basement Easter egg. With uh, the fat kid. Um, oh, I think the Georgie one in this new one where he's in the basement and the basement's all flooded and the... <gasps> oh, shit. I forgot about that one. Or the oh, one... that one was good. The one with the film where they're watching and the... That one looked really good. It wasn't my favorite, but that one actually yeah. looked pretty good. Um, I'm between the... Um, that was the Stammer kid. That was his <clears throat> reintroduction to the clown. Yeah. Um, I need to learn their names. Um, but yeah, that I one think was his good. His name was Mike or Mike, Ben? Mike or Ben? Ben. No, Ben was, ben, ben was a fat kid. Ben. Okay. Okay, so. Um, I don't fucking know. Um, it doesn't matter. Um, the, I really like the Easter egg headless one in the dark. When it turns into clown, like the last second, it got me, I did jump at yeah. that one. Yeah, that one was pretty good. Yeah, but no, the, the basement... Georgie one. I mm. forgot about that. that yeah, the basement one. Georgie one was probably my favorite. Yeah. Of the old ones, I agree with you. The balloon popping in the sink was... That was pretty cool. That was good. All right. Well, I think we're done with uh, It. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was 33 minutes of not really It, but kind of... Th- <laughs> oh! One more thing I want to say differently. It, 1990. <laughs> this stuttering kid had sounded like he was just trying to sneeze every five seconds. <laughs> yeah, he kept doing it like that. New one... The he, kid got the stutter down. The kid got the stutter well. down. It, he, he, that kid was a very good actor, I think. Uh, but, also, but the yeah, Stranger Things that. kid was good, too. Oh, I Stranger like Things too. kid was good. The girl was good. Yeah. The other ones just were kind the of... The kid actors background. were pretty good. Yeah. I, I wonder what kind of abuse those kids are going through. Because kid actors... Kid, <laughs> okay, that was mean. I was just saying, kid acting has kind of dipped lately because of the abuse hasn't been as high. There's a definite correlation for the amount of abuse towards talented kid actors. The more abused they are, the more talented they are. I mean, Macaulay Culkin, come on. Um, Let's get to football. Let's let's, uh, talk about football. 
So, um, Do we have to talk about football? I've been fucking watching it for days now. Yes, we have to talk about football because we got a bet. No. Yeah, we're gambling on the game. Are we? Yes. I thought we were just going to do if, the pigskins. No, if you lose, you have to eat a handful of jelly beans. Okay. Bamboozle jelly oh. beans. Oh, no. <laughs> and if I lose, then I would have to eat a handful of ba- bean boozled jelly f- beans. That was really hard for you to say. Jelly fiends. <laughs> bean boozled jelly beans. <laughs> but you know more about football than I do. I'm really at a so, disadvantage. I, okay. So I was not expect. I was expecting to do the picks for week one, but we kind of got pushed back and had to do this Monday. Sorry, so everybody. Would... I had finals, which is also why I'm so fried yes, today. It, it didn't work. But I got one, two, three... Four, five, six, seven wrong last for this week. How many did I get right? You didn't. You picked one and you got it right. You got one. Okay, we. I while we were watching the Chiefs Patriots game, I said I thought the Patriots were going to win. You said Chiefs and the Chiefs actually actually won. So I count that one too. Okay. Honestly, you could tell me them like ask me them all right now to get those old points because I wouldn't even know the fuck one. Well, no. Let's let's do it for next week. So we okay. So we're going weekly. Yeah, yeah. So oh, then, shit, I hope so it's a little tease entire... for next episode. We can make people watch it. Yeah, exactly. Okay, oh, that's fine. All right. Okay, are you ready for uh, NFL picks for week two? Yeah. Okay. So uh, we got the Bears versus the Buccaneers, Tampa Bay Buccaneers versus Chicago Bears, which. Bears. We were both. You picked the Bears, even though the Bears are are not very good. Bears. Why do you pick the Bears? Cause I'm I'm from Chicago. I got I got to root for my team. I'm also, choked. pick pick your color for what I can identify you on on my little piece of paper. Let's fucking gas for just. Oh my gosh! This oh, this this one matches. I'm gonna go with this one. Matches my uh, my onesie. Okay, that's perfect. Cool. And All right. Can I pick your color? I already got one. I already made my picks. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So it's just doing my picks. I also picked the Bears because I watched their game against Atlanta this week, and I thought that they would actually play better than what everybody said they would do. I thought Glennon looked good, and he'll be up for revenge against his old team. So, um, I think they pull off the upset and beat the Bucks. What were the two teams? Bears and Buccaneers. Okay. Yeah, I, I picked Bears. Okay. Uh, so, the Houston Texans and the Cincinnati Bengals. Oh, I like Bengals, but Houston's been through a lot. I'm going to say... Okay, if there's bur- if there's the Bean Boozles at the end, I'm going to say Bengals are going to win because Houston... No, Houston's going to win because they're going to be like, I we want to bring because Texas is a big state. And they lost last week. Yeah, I'm going to say Houston because I feel like they really want to like bring one home to boost morale and spirits. I also say um, Houston. So this this isn't going to be exciting for these games because we're both the same. But uh, I said Houston just because, I don't know, I think they're going to be looking for a win and the Bengals look like shit, <laughs> frankly, against the Ravens. <laughs> Uh, next one, uh, Patriots and Saints. So it's going to be New England versus New Orleans. Saints. Saints? Why? Wait, what was the other one? Patriots. Saints. <laughs> Why you pick the Saints? Because I don't like the Patriots. You, you know the Patriots won five Super Bowls, right? Oh, fuck the Patriots. No, you already picked the Saints. No! no Too late, I, I didn't gave you know a check that! Mark. How did you not know that? I didn't know that. How did you not know that? I don't like the Patriots just because I think their name is dumb. What else is wrong with them? Uh, you know about Deflate Gate? That was the Patriots. Oh, I hear Bill Burr, Bill Burr bitching about well, that yeah, a lot. Yeah, the Patriots are his favorite team. Oh, he's always bitching about that. Yeah. That's why. Well, I picked the Patriots because I have a brain in my head and I know that they won five Super Bowls. And because the Saints look like shit against Vikings today. (laughs) Uh, I don't think Adrian Peterson fits their offense, to be honest. I think you should give me all of this before I pick. Well, too late. Um, Bills versus Panthers. 
panthers. Because panthers are awesome. <laughs> you think the panthers will beat the buffalo bills? Yeah, a panther would totally beat a buffalo. Okay, well, I also picked the panthers because I think Cam Newton's going to have a good comeback season after his... Nugent? Huh? Nugent? Nugent. Yeah, Cam Nugent. <laughs> He makes cookies. <laughs> I love nougat. <laughs> or he's in candy bars. Cam nougat. He should make a candy bar and call it by his name. It would make hundreds. Hundreds. <laughs> That's what you want in the candy bar industry. Hundreds. I want to make at least five hundred dollars making my candy bars. Okay. Titans and Jaguars. Jaguars. Okay, so you picked the, the Jaguars? Yeah. The Jacksonville Jaguars? Yeah, because they're going to be trying to also bring morale to Florida. There's been a there lot of go. shit going down. Yeah, a lot of... It's terrible. A lot Actually, of hurricanes. Uh, I, like to, I like to live on this coast where all we got to worry about is fires and earthquakes. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I mean, <laughs> one of these days... It's, just, I'm surprised you haven't felt an earthquake yet. I have not experienced an earthquake. I've been here a year. I got y'all, two in my first year here. And then I haven't gotten one in the last, what, three? Well, no, you were here three years before I moved out here. Yeah, so this is my fourth year. Yeah, you know, this is my first year. Yeah, and I've, I've felt two in my first year. And then none for the... <laughs> oh, wow, that means a big one's a brewing. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> no, you know what I do? Like, I like Facebook's new... Um, mark yourself as safe. Yeah, yeah. I like that too. I, I, I'm just so happy that that exists because I know mm. a few people in Florida. Yeah, I got one from somebody in France once for mm. the, mm-hmm. the shooting. Me too. Yeah. yeah. Um, that was off topic. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of sporting events, how about the, the Vikings versus the Steelers? Vikings. Why do you pick the Vikings? Wait, can I guess why you picked the Vikings? Yeah. Because they wear purple. That and every once in a while in the corner, I just noticed this when watching Nick watch football. Um, it, the little Viking symbols here and then like the football player's face would pop up here like smiling like in his little pose. And it kind of looks like the Viking is leaning and going to give him a kiss on the cheek and he just looks so happy. I hope I'm I can find, find a picture yeah, of that. I'm going to put a picture up for you guys because it's absolutely adorable and every single time I see it, it just makes me giggle. I think that's only for Monday Night Football, so you will never see that until next year. Oh. But um, I went with the Steelers because the Steelers are better than the Vikings. They're Pittsburgh. Yes. I knew that. And I kind of like the Steelers. I like their jerseys. Wait, I want to change the Steelers. Nope, too late. My, my grandpa <laughs> worked in a steel meal. A steel meal? Steel meal. <laughs> I've given up trying to fix that one. It's just steel meal. Yeah. How about uh, suffocate? Su- suffocate. There you go. Usually it's suffocate. Because you suffer when you suffocate. So, well, you it suffer-cate. makes so much more sense. You're going to suffocate when you suffocate. I say a lot of words wrong. <laughs> yes, you do. Um, Cardinals and Colts. My sister was a cardinal... In softball, gonna go with the Cardinals. You're gonna go with the Cardinal. Your sister was a Cardinal. Yeah, my sister um, when she was on her softball team, she was a Cardinal. I was a Diamondback. I hate the Cardinals. I mean, baseball Cardinals. I don't give a shit about football Cardinals. I picked the football Cardinals, but I don't, I don't like. <laughs> Can I'm I pick a the fan. baseball Cardinals? <laughs> no. Fuck the baseball Cardinals. I no, I them. wanted to be the baseball no, I Cardinals, hate the Cardinals versus. They're uh, worse. They're the worst. The Cardinals are the Packers. Of the baseball world. I hate the Packers, too. That's just because we're from Chicago. I know. Were there words in what I just said? That's because you're from sh- 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 Chicago. <laughs> <I'm so tired>. <laughs> <laughs> um, Eagles and Chiefs. I like Eagles. I guess Eagles. You're going to go Eagles? Yeah. Well, I am going to go Chiefs because the Chiefs beat the Patriots this week. Or, yeah, this week. And I think they're going to use that momentum to, to beat no, the Eagles. No, they're tired. 
They're tired. They're not they tired. Had to, they had to beat the Patriots, who apparently well, they are a gotta, good team. They, they played Thursday, so they got a whole three days rest on the Eagles. So if anybody's tired, it's going to be the Eagles. They're going to be so tired, they're going to fly into screen doors. and. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine a fucking eagle running into your screen door? <laughs> How that scary would that would be? Are. I think it would go right through the screen door if an eagle... <laughs> Oh my gosh. Could you imagine the noise like that? (laughs) (laughs) That would be terrifying. Your Italians are just these, oh, they're monsters. They're They're Italians. They're Italians? (laughs) They're Italians. What? Did I say that wrong? They're Italians. (laughs) Italians. What? Italians? No, you got it. Uh, uh, it's like but your claws. They, they grabbed my feet to buy those Italians. We the Italian eagles. <laughs> we fly. How do we go? Italian eagles. <laughs> we use Italians. T A L O N. Talons. 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 <laughs> what was that about you say words wrong? <laughs> say it again. Wait, what is it? Talons. 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 But that's not an E N, it's an O N. Talon. Tal <laughs> No, you're right, Talons. Maybe I'm wrong. It's not talons, it's Italians. Oh my gosh, wait, that makes so much more sense. Talons. <laughs> I've been saying oh, talons. God. How long have I been I mean like luckily it doesn't come up in conversation <laughs> that often, but damn it, that's another one. Browns and Ravens. Ravens. No Browns! I'm always going to root for the Browns. Why? Because they're the underdog. Mm. Well, I'm going to pick the Ravens. The old Browns. They also have Italians. They, yeah, Ravens have Italians too. <laughs> Italians are great for grabbing meatballs and spaghetti. And <laughs> so it's just Talons. 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 Yeah. Talons. That sounds weird. I think it's... <laughs> no, you're... <laughs> I think my way is right. Italians. My sister never responded, by the way. Um. Oh. I'm getting choked. I need to unzip this. Well, we'll, we'll put the answer down below. <laughs> How are you gonna put it? It needs an, it's a it's a sound, not a like typey. Um. <laughs> I'm having a lot of trouble. It's okay. With it. It's been a long Can day. Can we edit a little bit of that? No. no. <laughs> Italians is staying. Italians is staying. Uh, dolphins versus Chargers. Dolphins. Dolphins? Dolphins. 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 Um, for this one, I don't really know. I don't trust Jay Cutler being a Bear fan for so long. Oh. Um, well, who's he play on? The Dolphins. He's a Dolphin? Okay. Yeah. Kind of sounds like a Dolphin name. Well, no, he is a Bear. <laughs> um, but I think I'm going to go That's with, the, with the Chargers on this one. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to air on Go LA. LA Chargers. There we go. Oh, the Chargers are from Los Angeles? Yep. They used to be I said it was the Rams. It's both. Oh, shit. Rams and Chargers. I prefer the Rams over the Chargers, but, you know. And lately, I've been kind of, I've, I've been rooting for the Raiders, too. The Raiders are? Uh, Oakland. Soon to be Las Vegas. So they're football, too? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> California has three Actually, football teams? Um, Four. 49ers. How the fuck do they need that many? Well, what the the, the Raiders are moving out. What about the 49ers? They're staying. San Francisco. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Jets and Raiders. Raiders. Why? Because I really like Raiders with the Lost Stark. Oh, I thought because of Marshawn Lynch. Oh, shit! Marshawn Lynch is on the Raiders! Hell yeah, the Raiders! I also picked the Raiders. I fucking love Marshawn Lynch! <laughs> Marshawn Lynch, I love you. I like Skittles, too. I, I wonder how Marshawn Lynch feels about uh, Green Apple and the Skittles. Oh, I would love to ask him. That would be my question if I ever met him. If how you do you feel about Green Apple Let's tweet Skittles? him that. We should tweet him that. We'll tweet him, yeah. Because that, that's like... We'll, the day we post this episode, we'll tweet him. Okay. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. We can talk about it on the next episode if he yes. replies. He probably won't. I would... Because he, he doesn't talk to the media very often. Oh. I guess we're not really media, though. We were just... We're, we're just not asking. really anything. 
<laughs> we're a we're a great show, okay? Yeah. <laughs> that nobody so watches. Any we put up flyers this week. Huh? We put up flyers, though. Yeah? I think we got, like, one subscriber from that. Um, Rams and Redskins. Rams. I also picked the Rams. Redskins. Come on. Change your name. Change your fucking name. Uh, I'm not really big into, like, cha- like, making people change names, but that one, come on. I That's think the bad. Indians should change their name before the Redskins. Redskins? Okay. Because, like, I don't know. But, I mean, Indians isn't, like, when we say that, we're... we're have when you seen their mascot? Say that, I don't say that. Okay, I haven't seen the mas- mascot. What does it look like? Oh, it's, the mascot. Oh, it looks like a cartoon. It looks like a Bugs Bunny cartoon of an Indian. Oh wait, like no, Native I American Indian. Yeah, I know what you're talking about now. His name is Chief Wahoo. Yeah, it's kind of bad too. <laughs> but I'm, he's got red skin and he's got big teeth and big eyes. He doesn't have a big nose too, doesn't he? I think so too. Yeah. At least the Redskins logo looks. But cool. I gotta say the. Um, the, the Redskins, that's a derogatory term. Yeah, it's kind of dehumanizing. It's very dehumanizing. But, like, and Indian Indians is just, still... Oh, we mistakenly and call them that. But the thing is, like, when I, whenever somebody says Redskins, I instantly think of the football team. Nobody uses Redskin as, like, in, incorrectly. They, yeah. Whenever anybody says Redskin, as far as I, I, I mean, I don't spend too much time in the South, so I don't know if they're, oh, fucking Redskins! <laughs> We're going to get damn. <laughs> I don't know if it's like that. Yeah. But, but like, Indian is still used improperly. Mm-hmm. It is. All the time. It drives me so nuts. So that's why I think it's more offensive. Yeah. Like, right now, people would say I'm sitting Indian style. I'm like, it's cross-legged. But I think that's Indian because of India. Because, because to me, when you go like this... This oh, is like okay, this is like going to be really offensive, but this is like... Thing and oh, I was, I was thinking snake charming. <laughs> Which, I don't know if that's bad. Where's my kazoo? Oh gosh, please don't. I was looking for the cat toy to like get the cat over here. Yeah. Fuck that cat. You know what? I, I got her to turn on the Xbox with the laser pointer oh, like ten times. But then the minute I try to do it for Instagram, she fucking ignores me. So, you know what? She's on my shit list. Oh, but she's so cute. That's enough of that. What are you even singing? It doesn't even, like, what does it even sound the, stereotypical? That's the Indian yeah. snake charming okay. song. That's that the only one I know. <laughs> Don't ever become a snake charmer. You oh, die. We, we are getting a snake next episode and snake charming the shit out of it. It's going to be so charmed. <laughs> Okay, I'm actually done. Let's get a cobra it. here tomorrow. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Okay. Unless we have Venom Man on the show. Venom Man 20. Um, Cowboys versus Broncos. Oh, that's a good combo. Yeah. Um, Broncos. Broncos? I uh, hate the Broncos because they stole the Bears colors. So oh, I picked the that, Cowboys. Oh, is that team? Yeah, they're playing right now. Ugh. It's, I can't see it's such a tiny screen. It, it showed me the time of possession. I, I thought it was the score. It's, like it's, it's 14 minutes, 30 seconds to <laughs> 7 minutes, 27 seconds. <laughs> um, what am I on? Uh, Niners and Seahawks. Oh, Seahawks are cool. but They also have Italians. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go with all Italians. All Italians. So Seahawks. Alright. Also have Italians. We're from Seattle. <laughs> we have a large stadium. I, also I like how the, that one was a was an old old Italian grandma a, mixed it up. Yeah. Um, you got the pizza pie. We got the pizza pie. We got the grandma. I'm a fan of the dolphin Italian. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay to make fun of Italians because I'm Italian. I'm I'm Sicilian. You're not Italian. Oh fuck. I'm gonna get the Italians after me. <laughs> I'm gonna get the Italians out. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh god! You know I'm gonna be a professional one day. And somebody's <laughs> just gonna see this and the, the Packers versus the Atlanta Falcon Italians. <laughs> Falcon Italians. Falcon Italians. I actually like the Falcons too. Why? Because there's a lot lost of birds in the Bears. I mean, there's a lot of birds in the football games. Yeah, there's a lot of birds and bees. <laughs> there's bees? 
Well, there's that one team that looks like a bumblebee. There's a hornet. The Steelers. The Steelers look like bumblebees. Yeah, they got those uh, chain gang uh, uniforms, which I'm pretty sure I'm the only person that likes those uniforms. Everybody else shits on them. I think they look really cool. I like them. Kind of look like rugby players. A little bit. That's kind of why I like them. I think they're cool. Um, I picked the Packers because Mm -hmm. I think, even though I hate the Packers, but I think Aaron Rodgers is good in regular season. I knew that one. I knew Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. What number is he? 43. And 12. Um, <laughs> I said it confidently. <laughs> 43. <laughs> Jackie Robinson. <laughs> uh, he's 42. But uh, Aaron Rodgers is good in regular season. Playoffs, I would pick the Falcons. Wait. Um, and finally, Giants and Lions. The New York football Giants. Who's the Lions from? Detroit. Motor City. Giants. You're going to pick the Giants? Yeah. I also took the Giants. I think they had a tough loss against uh, Cowboys, and they'll be out for vengeance. So which ones are we actually competing on, technically? Uh, so we got, uh, for our little butt, watch for Patriots versus Saints. Um, Titans and Jaguars, watch that game. Um, Vikings and Steelers, uh, Dolphins and Chargers, Browns and Ravens, Eagles and Chiefs, and I wish I had a few Broncos, play. Cowboys, Packers, Falcons. So we should have a good few. We probably won't. We could tie. Yeah, we could. We could, but we'll see. Uh, and how about right now we throw out our Super Bowl predictions? While we're at it. Browns, 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 Browns. Who are they playing? Uh, uh, playing Patriots. They can't. They, Browns versus no, the Patriots. The Browns the are going to win. Oh, well, who the fuck do I get to pick from? The NFC teams. Well, I don't know. Well, name a team and I'll tell you if they're in the <sighs> NFC or AFC. Okay, so I want the Browns versus the Giants. There you go. Yeah, Does that, that works? Works. Yeah, that cool. works. Browns mm-hmm. versus Giants. Browns win. Come on, you guys. I Browns believe in versus you. Giants. Um, <clears throat> I got um, Raiders versus Cowboys, and Cowboys win. Browns, Browns, Brown, 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 Browns. End it. End it.